Charlotte Brouwer and I'm a violin teacher specialized in bowing technique and tone creation. In this video I would like to give you some professional bowing and tone creation secrets <laughs> uh, for advanced violinists, but violinists of all levels can benefit from these tips. What I would like to talk about, and this applies in all kinds of bowing techniques, is the ignition point of your bow movement. And this should be in your fingertips and nowhere else. Not in your uh, elbow, not in your shoulder, not in your arm or wherever. Your fingertips should be leading. And actually your right arm should just follow that. So your, your bow hand, your right hand should be really active. And uh, this is a totally different feeling than bowing from your arm, like violinists tend to do in the first couple of years. If you bow from your fingertips, uh, you'll notice that a lot of things are easier. For example, if you do martelet, um, then you just have to move your index finger and give it little pinches. And this also makes a staccato a lot easier. Because you don't have to do everything with your arm. So you can have a more refined bow motion as you will. Well, for example, in spiccato, you can also apply this. When you do spiccato from your arm, you get this just this bounce. And a lot of people who play advanced stuff still have a spiccato that the bow just bounces uncontrollably. Well, what you want is that actually should imagine like you play above the string and that with your fingers, again your fingers, you just drop the bow to the string. And then you get a spiccato that's not so bouncy like that, but uh, that uh, spiccato that is more like a bow stroke. It should be a bow stroke. And the uh, you can move your fingers a lot and you can uh, move your fingers almost not. Um, that doesn't really matter. What matters is that the ignition point of your movement is in your fingers. Well, if you're playing legato or detaché, then you'll notice that it's much easier to keep the violin resonating and to smoothen your bow changes if you do it from your fingertips with a right arm that just follows. And you get a sound with core and sound that speaks. I hope this tip is useful to you. Perhaps you need to get used to it for a while and just experiment with it. Experiment with your bowing, experiment with your sound. If you want to learn all possible bowing techniques in classical music and you want to learn everything about tone creation, then you might be interested in joining my online masterclass program Bow Like a Pro. Check it out at bowlikeapro.com. I hope to see you there. Bye bye.